Welcome to the Fit Aid Morning Show. I'm your host, Kenny Santucci, and we're back for Wadapalooza Year 7. Well, it is a beautiful day here in Miami, Florida on the at the VIP Experience, sponsored by Life Aid Beverage, Caffeine Kilos, and Power Dot. And when I say it's a beautiful day, it's because I just had Brooke Wells on, then we had Josh the Bear Jew, and now I have these two handsome son of a bitches. I'm sure if we're talking about people getting the, people sliding through the DMs, these guys are no, they have no problem with that. So gentlemen, Cody Mooney, Alex Smith, how's it feel to be down here for the first time not competing? Uh, it's good, it's fun. Um, I don't mind, yeah, I mean, I mean, competing is way better. I'd rather be doing that, but uh, spectating is still fun. You know, I love being down here and it's just a great event to be here, so it's great, I love it, yeah. Yeah, it's just a different experience. Uh, same thing, I'd rather be competing. It's You kind of watch everybody work out and you get FOMO of working out, you know, like I want to be out there competing, but uh, it's really cool getting to talk to people and meet brands and you don't get to do that while you're competing because you're so busy and focused on what you're doing, so it's just a different atmosphere. I mean, so everybody knows what, Miami could be a wild town. Have you guys got a chance to go out and experience Miami a little bit? Uh, we haven't gone out too, too much. We got in late, and then we've been staying up a little later here. But tonight, we're definitely going to go out and experience the town some for sure, yeah. Where have you got? Where are you guys actually headed tonight? I don't even know. He knows. <laughs> I think it's is it Club 11 that's going that I was talking to Aaron a little bit about. Buddy, the place is savage. It doesn't matter what you're into, you have to go. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go and experience it, so that's what we'll be at tonight, so it'll be fun. So you, the, both these gentlemen st uh, stopped at my gym about a week or two ago, and after you guys left, everybody was like, who the hell was that? <laughs> guys and girls alike were like, who were those two guys? I was like, oh, if you don't know who they are, I think you should go on Instagram and figure it out or follow the CrossFit Games just this much. So you guys were in New York. Did you get to experience New York at all? Yeah, we did. We uh, we came to your gym. We walked around. We were there for about three days. Um, tried to find as many food places as we could. New York has the best food. Um, but yeah, pretty much just had fun there. For, for two guys who your life is basically focused around fitness, how often do you get to cheat and have whatever you want? Or do you guys just not give a shit? You guys are young guys. You don't really have to worry about nutrition as much. No, I mean, I definitely worry about my nutrition. I work with a, a guy unprescribed and whatnot. So it's just, I worry about it for sure. But when I travel, I'm not going to not have a good time, so for sure, yeah. Yeah, when the, when the season comes up, it's a little more strict with what I do, but like off season, I, I'll eat whatever I want, try to get carbs, you know, pizza, burgers, whatever it is, but uh, yeah, not super strict. <laughs> so, so, I mean, you guys, you guys, especially Alex, you, you've been blowing up the internet. You know, I, I watched a couple of months ago, I think it was maybe about a year ago, you competed against the mountain. <laughs> what the hell was that like? It was insane. Uh, we had the opportunity to go out to Iceland to compete in WoW Stronger, and, and they threw me against him. I didn't know until like an hour before it was happening, and uh, it was crazy. He's twice the size of everybody there. He eats three times as much as everybody there. It's uh, He's a cool guy, though, really nice down to earth, but it was cool being able to lift next to him and almost keep up with him. <laughs> well, I, that's what I was most impressed at. I mean, yeah, you're, you're squat cleaning. He's throwing up over his head, but he's also got you beat by 250 pounds. You know, wh whose idea was that? The, uh, it, so Annie and Frederick run the competition, so it was their idea to get him out there. And I think next year they're, they're going to try to get like Brian Shaw and more strongman out there to put them against CrossFitters and kind of see the comparison. So it was cool being able to watch him be able to like muscle clean 400 and whatever it was, 20 pounds, like it was nothing. So you guys, you guys are heavy into the CrossFit. You guys do a lot of, uh, you know, you're with Misfit. You, get, you do your uh, brother's training and stuff. What are some things that you like to do on your own? I know everybody's like, oh, I got to do these long wads and like, you know, some of the misfit stuff or just these long, like the bitch work and stuff. What do you guys actually enjoy doing? Because sometimes you got to go in the gym and be like, I really don't want to do this. But something you go to where you're like, I got to get a sweat in. I want to kind of enjoy myself today. It's like kind of an off day. Yeah, I love a lot of endurance stuff. I love like the running, the swimming, the biking, whatnot like that. Lifting, I could live without here and there, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, so if I'm just going in, getting a sweat, like, I love the Assault Runner. I love all that stuff that they came out with. So I'll be on that for sure. Yeah, we couldn't be more opposite. <laughs> I like going and lifting heavy weights and then doing like high school gymnastics stuff. Like if I don't have gymnastics in my training for like more than a week, I'll I'll like kind of get tired of training, you know? Some of the stuff you've been putting out lately is unbelievable. I, I love I love some of the gymnastics stuff you guys do. So what's next? You guys are both young guys. You're still competing. You still got a, one hell of a career, I'm sure, ahead of you. 
But what are you guys doing? Are you going to school or you got anything else going on on the back end? Yeah, so uh, I, be, I have like a year and a half with the school. I go for a health science degree, but right now I just moved down to Boston. So I'm at CrossFit Fenway. Uh, training, I coach some, uh, but I'm just there right now and just hanging out and then I'll be hopefully finishing up my degree in the next little bit and so, and just keep kind of pushing towards the end goal, so. Yeah, same. Uh, the goal is to win the CrossFit game, so that's uh, kind of what I'm focused on right now. And trying to travel and enjoy it as much as I can. Trying not to focus too much on it and enjoy life at the same time. So just having a good time with it. What's your brother say about you trying to win the CrossFit games? <laughs> He's uh, very supportive of it. He, he loves training with us. We all love training together. So it's, it's a lot of fun having that group there. It's an honor to have both of you guys on the show. Two of the most handsome sons of bitches in CrossFit. Ladies, if you're out there, Alex is single. Cody, I'm sure you'll slide in his DMs anyway. Thank you, gentlemen. For, thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for watching, and we will be back later on.